Courtney Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans. They get today is manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Ghost Reaper Girl chapter 37. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And we ain't sponsored by Shueisha. And we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus. And we ain't sponsored by Viz. And considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, it's kind of surprising, right? <laughs> but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable little kitty, and this operation alive and kicking so we can keep for you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our cash up at PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, well, last chapter, we went into the realm of Hades, and I feel like it's Elysium that's there. I do, um, that they're in, specifically. Um, and we met with the board of directors of Arkham, so let's see what's in store for us this month. And this chapter is titled, uh, Negotiating with an Evil God. Dude... Saki, this art is so pretty. I'm glad that this is monthly. I really am. Two paths lie before your group. One is to uh, unconditionally surrender um, Kai's silver key to Arkham. Choose this and you'll likely return from Haiti safe and sound. What if we choose the other path? Refusal. You know, there's something I've always wondered. Hades is the destination of departed souls. In that case... Where did the soul stuffed out in Hades go? Ooh, that's a good point. Good question. I suggest you choose correctly. Hmm. Ooh, what the fuck? It's a contract chalice. Dreaming that will force a transfer of the silver key from you to me. So, Kai, which will it be? Um, if you make, um, if you wish to make that trip beyond Hades, I'll do you a favor and send your friends with you. H hang on, time out. Is that a threat? You're totally threatening us! No shit! Can't believe this! To begin with, how much- how, um, about apologizing for sending assassins after us? We came here intending to extend an olive branch! Chloe, I suggest you quit kidding around! I see, so this is Ghost Reaper Girl! She's an intriguing vessel indeed! Such an abundance of soul! You wouldn't think her human! I can see why Kai and Nyla are so invested! God, this is so beautiful! However, I think you misunderstand. You think I am kidding around? Okay, you're fired. Huh? Do you realize I'm Arkham's president? In other words, my actions are always justified in every situation. What a piece of shit! Within Arkham, I am the law. I am absolute justice. Rule breakers need not apply. <laughs> what a fucking prick! Oh my god, I can't believe you just fired her. You know what? This is how it would probably be in the real world um, as well. It's like, dude, you're fu- Do you think I'm kidding? Fuck you, you're fired. <laughs> I love it. God, it makes Hester such a good villain, too. Time for a purge, um, Ithaqua. Get rid of these nuisances. Hmm? Good grief. You're kidding, right? Um, let's not be hasty. Wait! Kai, no! I only have to drink this, right? Bastards want the silver key, you can have it. Kai, but yes, yes, we know. The obedient have my favor. I'll guarantee your friend's safety. The silver key is the great, um, oh, wait, um, uh, wait, uh, your Xathos legacy. Don't expect it to be easy to control. Noted. Uh-oh. Kai, you can't. Hey, director, stop him. Director? Don't do it. What the hell? What the? Chloe? <gasps> Chloe did it. She drank it. Why do you drink that? Are you crazy? Black, what is this stuff? It's super bitter. So it's gross. Uh, wait. Wait, priorities. Do you feel okay? Yep, that's what I thought. I've seen my- I've seen more than my fair share of crazy powerful people, so I can tell. That guy's not the type to keep his word. Well, no shit! Chloe! What the hell is this, Hoster? What'd you put in that drink? Dude, yeah, he was gonna kill Kai. For real. I'm glad Chloe caught that. She's quite a bother. Wait. I'm afraid it's too late for that girl. What? That was a cursed wing, uh, cursed wine created by forbidden magic. The drops of decay, it corrodes the drinker's soul. They vanish. They vanish? A corroded soul has but one path to become Hostor's puppet. <gasps> no! Ugh. Impossible! Um, how do they grab, grab Chloe in an instant? Are you telling me Chloe can't be saved? Indeed, that would have been your own fate had all gone as planned. Heh, your, for 
unfortunate, Eod. The girl sacrificed herself for you. However, I may still be able to do something. What? She held her ground against Hostor. By quaffing the poison herself, she overturned even our expectations. She's piqued my curiosity a tad. Who are you? To think anyone... Ooh, let me read this again. Who are you to think anyone remained conscious after ingesting that nasty poison? I knew I liked you. <gasps> oh my god, Bastet! <gasps> oh my god, I am Bastet. I feel honored. I shall grant you my favor to whom it's Bastet? Oh my god! Okay, I need to pull up the info about Bastet. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, this is very interesting. What is Bastet doing here? Or Bast for short. What is she doing here? Okay, so this is what her role is. She is, um, well, she's dubbed Eye of the Moon, but uh, she is the goddess of pregnancy and childbirth, uh, possibly because of the fertility of the domestic cat, because she is a cat. Slash, um, originally, she was a lion goddess, but then eventually she turned into a cat goddess. But um, there's also this. Bastet was also depicted as the goddess of, prote of protection against contagious diseases and evil spirits. Yeah, this makes sense for why Bastet is here. And now that I think about it, because I'm thinking about, um, uh, oh my god, what is it called? This is going to bug the hell out of me. Now I remember. It was, um, Bast was in Rick Rorden's Cain Chronicles, which is the Egyptian, um, god's, uh, portion of, um, of his empire. But yeah, Bast was, um, was, uh, the guardian of Cain and, and the sister. Um, his sister Sadie. So, yeah. Dude! I am so happy to see Bast here. Bast here, like, compared to her Egyptian portrayals, let's take a look at this real quick. She is, she is beautiful. Oh my god. I love her ears. I hope she does trans- Something I would like to see, Akisa, is see, um, Bastet transform into a lioness. I would love to see it. I love the outfit she's wearing. Oh my god, it's pretty. I feel like the cat face is kind of throwing me off a little bit, especially in connection to the body. I feel like the proportion is a little off. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. But, dude, I am so happy we have Bastet here. Okay. Hold up. Before, now I have to double check something else here because this will really piss me off. So let's go over this. So Hoster is um is in the uh, Cthulhu universe, the HP Lovecraft universe. That's where he's from. And from what I'm seeing here, and I should have oh, fuck, I should have done this sooner. <laughs> but something that's interesting with Hoster is um it says here that um that he uh, was um, declaring war. Yeah, he declared um, war on the Outer Ones. So this will be very, very interesting. And Hoster has a cult to boot. So yeah, this this totally works. And remember, we do have Cthulhu himself up in here as well um, in the form of Oscar. I fucking love Oscar. He's, he's my boy. But there's one other one we need to double check here real quick. Here we go. I don't know why I didn't do that um, last chapter. So Ethan Kua is um, from the Lovecraft universe as well. And he's one of the great uh, old ones from the HP uh, Lovecraft uh, universe. So that's very interesting. It's very, isn't it interesting that, um, and he's the Windwalker of uh, Wendigo. So it's very interesting that we have um, two characters from the Cthulhu universe running uh, Arkham. And then there's, uh, uh, then we have Bass. Like, dude, this is just wild. Are we going to see Osiris at some point? <laughs> Seriously, are we going to see Osiris? That, that is actually a good question. Why is Osiris not even, why is he not here? You'd think that he would be here over Bast. Now that I'm thinking about it, because remember, there are, um, there's the gates. And one of them, I believe, was in Africa. So it's like, huh, so why is he here instead of, um, instead of Bastet? Why? That's weird. I'm glad that Bastet, I'm, yeah, again, I should have done this last chapter, but I'm glad Bastet 
is looking like her cat self, like how she's supposed to look based on Egyptian mythology, but damn, I really hope she has a lioness form. I do. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think of this. I'm so glad that Chloe outed that motherfucker. I, I am. But yeah, Bast uh, Bastet being able to, um, to heal Chloe is not surprising. No, it's not based on the mythology. So I'm glad that we're, we're you know, for the most part being consi uh, cons consistent with that. But I have to wonder here if at some point that we're going to see the Egyptian, obviously we have Nyla who is, who is Egyptian based and now we have Bastet here. So I have to wonder if the, the non HP Lovecraft based characters are going to go to war against the ones that are, that'd be very interesting. I like that idea. I, but I still want to see Magical Girl Shoggoth, and I still want to see Magical Girl um, Cthulhu. And if we get Magical Girl Bastet, woo, that'd be interesting. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Kids Inc. Love what we're doing. I want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more uh, Ghost Reaper Girl content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our cash app, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.